I absolutely love the seasonal section at Dollar Tree and a lot of times you've gotta get in early, you've gotta buy stuff before you're ready because if not, you're not gonna be able to find it. So today I'm sharing a ton of Christmas and everyday finds that I've recently got at Dollar Tree to help you get prepped for the Christmas DIY season, so stay tuned. This is Whiskey and Wit, my name's Whitney, and on this channel I love to share DIY and budget home decor, different tips, tricks, tutorials, all around DIYs to help you get a home you love on a budget. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, be sure to hit subscribe down below so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Wit video. So let's hop into it. The first item I wanted to share with you are these really cute sleds. These scream DIY all over them. I got some that had a plain little flat piece on the sled and then these looked more of like a kind of picketed sign. But these you could use for so many different things. I obviously have DIYs coming up. You could use them directly as ornaments. You could also do them as present toppers. This would also be really cute tied on a bottle of wine for a gift. So I definitely stocked up for a mixture of projects for my channel as well as gifts this holiday season. The next thing I saw were these really pretty huge signs. They're not super thick, but they have really fun like artwork on them. This one says Merry and Bright. You guys know I love the red truck. And then if you flip it over, it's two-sided. So this says Merry Christmas with a poinsettia, poinsettia, however you decide to say it. I also grabbed this one for our dining room area. It says Eat, Drink, and Be Merry. It's got some hot cocoa and a cute little gingerbread man. This Baking Spirits Bright is so cute, especially if you've got a like kitchen setup or you do anything with candy. These are really solid quality. They'd also be really good for DIYs if you don't like the sayings on the front. I stocked up on these really cute ribbons. I got black and white as well as red and black buffalo check. They've got little like twist ties on the back so you can easily attach them to stuff. I'm sure you could pop those off and add some hot glue. I have a mixture of ideas. These would be great for garlands. They would also be great to kind of add an embellishment to anything. So I stocked up, I think I got four of each of these. I grabbed a ton of these. If you look next to my head, these are huge. I grabbed a decent amount. I think I got six total. These are solid. I like the chipboard. They're not gonna take stain, so that's something to keep in mind. I wish they were wood, but um, I think I'm gonna paint these. I think they're also the size that would fit really well inside of a wreath as well. So that's another option as well. You could paint it white, hang it up in your wreath. Usually I avoid the glittery things at Dollar Tree like the plague, but I do think that these will work for me. They're like little cedar picks. They call it snow greenery and they do have fallout like all get out. So just be aware of that. The shirt, it's not friendly to my black shirt. However, I will take these and spray some hairspray on them or you can do like a spray um, sealant. So like I've done a polycrylic before over the top to kind of seal it in five of them together. This would look really great in something. I like that it's got different tones of color and if you've got like the berries that Dollar Tree sells every year, that would look really pretty in here too. Something that's so versatile every season that they have them at Dollar Tree and they're so affordable are these little boxes. So they've got a lot of different kinds. So they've got these that look like books so they open so you could put something inside but they sit up really nice. The holographic is not glitter, thank goodness. It's just shiny. This is super cute. This will be a really great piece for Finn's room. And then I also grabbed one of these smaller ones that sits on the opposite side and it says from Santa North Pole, super cute. This one also opens as well. I have some other ones from years past that I've gotten like the night before Christmas and like Rudolph. So they look like little books and they for a dollar are so cute, especially if you like the retro vibe, they've got some really great ones. And then they also have these gift boxes that work really well as decor, but then they also work well to wrap stuff. So like ornaments, sentimental things. These are also great for gift cards, but for a dollar, the box on the inside is just a regular color. And I love the calligraphy on the top of this. Again, no glitter gotta cling to the non-glitter things as much as you can at Dollar Tree. But I got a ton of different sizes in this one with the holly berries. And then I also got that same print in a tin. So I like to have these on hand because then you could throw cookies in them. They're a really great last minute hostess gift. These are also good to hold together like some sentimental ornaments like within your ornament box. And I kind of went with a theme this year with the same print. Also within the box category, they have these little like box bag things. So like you could put stuff in them. They have a lot of different sizes. I really liked this one with the truck. You've got one side that's just the mat and then you have another side that's the holographic kind of shiny. So you could flip it either way. They also had farm fresh Christmas trees. 
And then black and white buffalo check. So this is more of the vibe that I'm going for this year. Um, I like the greens, the woodlands, the um, about like black and white buffalo check. I also got a smaller version of this. These are also great for entertaining. You can fit napkins in there or different cutlery if you've got like a buffet going on. Or you can make a really easy arrangement by putting some of that greenery from Dollar Tree in it as well. Obviously it needs some finesse, but then you can just kind of put it on a shelf with some greenery in there. So these are great for a dollar. They're also great for hostess gifts if you wanna throw in like candle or just some socks or something it's got a handle you can wrap it up with cellophane and it is so cute they would probably think you got it from home goods there's no way they're thinking that you got this from dollar tree and you get to save some money i found two different little um, fragrance oils i went with mold wine as well as balsam pine they're these little like they look like essential oil things you can use these to kind of um, add scent to their candles because they aren't super full of scent but I also think I might use these for some different things like if I've got an arrangement that I want to smell more like pine kind of like those sensical sticks if you've ever seen those that they put in trees so I grabbed them because I knew I would find something to use them with. I also grabbed a couple signs to DIY. I love these sled signs. I made one over last year and I've got another idea for this this year and then these tag signs are always a great shape. I also like that there's only a little bit of glitter on this one same with this one i try to avoid glitter at dollar tree like the plague because if not it's just like all over my house and i look over and finn has it on his hands and he wasn't even near me it's just too much these i was very excited to see in the store they are little pom-pom like trim tassels i thought these would be awesome for projects coming up the length is three yards they also had a green green isn't huge in my christmas decor i do more reds and whites and this gave me a candy cane vibe so I'm really excited to DIY with these. I also haven't seen these before. This isn't necessarily Christmas, but I plan to use it for Christmas. And it is this long unfinished wood board. It's a little bit shorter than those black chalkboards that I did a ton of projects with for Halloween and fall. But I think this will take stain really well because it's the same, you know, the Dollar Tree always has. And it's got a little hanger. So I have some ideas. This will probably be making an appearance in the top Cricut Blanks video. You guys have grown to love that. So I have one from last Christmas that I will link for you. I always like to grab the unfinished wood ornaments, so I grabbed some of the snowflakes. They also had red trucks, Santa's trees. I grabbed those too, but for some reason the bag is MIA in my basement because I bought them a couple weeks ago, but they do have a lot of different cutouts and these are awesome. I use them so much for fall, so we'll probably do similar stuff for Christmas. I like to get the snowflakes because you can use them while past Christmas. Um, which is huge for me because with storage and everything if you could leave stuff up or kind of remove like some red ribbon or something It really helps to stretch the longevity of your projects and leave them out longer I also grabbed a tree and some stars. I grabbed two of these. These are always staples whenever I see these I grab them because I will find something to do with them These I made over last year and made huge like ornaments for my tree I stained them painted them put a Cricut decal on them So I will link that video for you if you would like to check that out and recreate but these are awesome they take stain super well i found these cute little wood like cutouts i know there's other ones based on hauls that i've watched i think there's like santas and such but i thought these trees would be so cute to either stain or paint you get eight for a dollar and they're so cute I also grabbed some red and white straws. These scream candy cane to me. They weren't in the Christmas section. Usually I can either find these over in the party section, so buy all of the like uh, present wrap. Ever side has the glassware and the plates and all the kitchen utensils. That last aisle on that side, I can usually find these. So I grabbed two of these. I love these for tiered tray decor. I'm kind of iffy when it comes to Dollar Tree ribbon. Sometimes it is just loaded with glitter or you don't get that much on a spool. So I like to go for the thicker ribbon if I can and I also like to go for ones that don't have glitter on them so these are burlap ribbon and they're three yards each so they're smaller than what you're gonna get at other stores but they are a dollar I really like this kind of holly berry pattern that they have so I got two of these for obviously upcoming DIY projects. I ended up grabbing two of these DIY ornaments that look like kind of old school Christmas bulbs and these reminded me of Christmas Vacation. So if you are new to my channel, I love Christmas Vacation. It's my favorite Christmas movie of all time. And each year I do DIYs. So again, this year will be no different. I will have Christmas Vacation DIYs coming your way, but I'm not quite sure fully what I'm gonna do with these, but I do have an idea. I also have used these in the past to make a garland. I made them into little snow globes, so I added some 
some Epsom salt, put some trees in there. I will link that project up here for you as well as down in the comments if you have these and want to get crafting. I'm a huge fan of window clings because you can use them for so many different things. I recently shared a couple of my ideas in my first Christmas video of the year for Dollar Tree DIYs. I've got 20 of those, so I will link that video if you have missed it. But there's a ton of great projects in there and I want to do some more projects with window clings. So I ended up grabbing this sheet. It is so pretty. It's got like the watercolors. I've been loving those for fall. These are awesome. I grabbed two sheets of these for different projects and there are just like so many different things you can do with them. Ornaments, they had bells and like a little like, it almost looked like a firework. I don't, I don't think that's what it's supposed to be for Christmas, but that's what it looked like to me. And then I got some of these trees. The ends, as you can kind of see, these edges are kind of like rough. So you'll definitely have to do some sanding, but I think these will be awesome for projects coming up. These are new to me this year. I'm pretty sure they didn't have them last year or my stores didn't get them. From what I've been seeing at all the stores or online, it seems to be kind of a ice skating, like snow ski lodge type vibe that's gonna be big this year. So I grabbed some of these. It's got, it's not necessarily a buffalo check. It's more of like a tartan plaid. And then I also got the black and white one. I grabbed some little clothespins as well as some jingle bells just to have on hand. These are always nice for garlands or if you're looking to clip up Christmas cards. And then these jingle bells, they're six to a pack. And I just like to have these on hand in my house. They had red and gold and green and silver, I think. So tons of different options. I almost passed up this item, but I went back and grabbed it because when I saw it out of the corner of my eye, I thought Finn might love it. It is an LED projector light. Two AAA batteries in the back of this. It pops up and then you turn it on and I went with this little scene that has like Santa and the reindeer. There was also another one with a snowman, but I figured for a dollar we could try it out. This guy is definitely new this year and it's probably hard to see, but it is a snowman wreath form. I think I'll just turn it into a little snowman wreath hanger. All that mesh that Dollar Tree sells. Of course, I forgot to grab some of that, so I might have to go back, but I saw this and thought, you know, I could figure out something to do with it. I love the snowman and also it will last past Christmas. Some muted colors for some garlands. I did this like sagey green as well as this kind of like wine color red. I really like the two of these together, probably mixed in with some gray or white to do more of a muted garland of some sort. I usually like to find the really cute wrapping paper at Dollar Tree for my DIYs and so I found four that I really liked. I got a traditional red and black buffalo check. I got a tartan print. I got a candy cane print and then I also got this one which has Santa Claus on it. So there's like a Santa and a sleigh and such. So these are great for an alternative to scrapbook paper. If you want to Mod Podge them, you can. You just want to kind of go a lot lighter. It is thinner wrapping paper. But this is also great if you set up your tree and you haven't done your Christmas shopping yet, you can wrap some old boxes so it looks festive and like you've got gifts under the tree um, and you're just using like super cheap wrapping paper instead of having to use your expensive stuff to kind of make those full presents. Okay, if you're still with me, leave a comment down below. I know this is a long haul, but I wanted to share all the stuff that I got because I was really excited about everything. I grabbed this edge of sketch from the kids toy section because I have an idea with the elf movie. I made my own um, from a wood canvas, like a faux etch -a sketch but I thought I could make a really cute one with a Dollar Tree etch -a sketch so that'll be coming in a future video as well as something with these LED pillar candles. I can't find these all the time and it's really been a long time since I found them so I stocked up. These are awesome for decor to put them in stuff especially if you don't need a candle but then for a dollar two they have a little bit more of an orangey glow than I would like, but for a dollar, I can definitely make it work. Up next are some random things, but they are gonna be for DIYs. One being this fishing fund jar. We're gonna make that over. I liked that it had the little slot at the top. I also grabbed some of these floral foams. They come two in a pack for a dollar, and I've got a Christmas idea for these. They are just now starting to put out their red like kitchen stuff and so these are awesome blanks so these will be coming in that Cricut blank video. I got some different like kitchen stuff and then I also grabbed some black ones as well. Dollar Tree has continued to up their game on the stuff that you can get for a dollar when it comes to cold weather accessories and socks and hats and all that. I grabbed two of these packs of little socks for Finn. Finn is tall and his feet are getting bigger so I grabbed some of these. The only downside is they don't have grippers on them but these are great for sleeping in at night. I also grabbed some socks for me. Now I wear size 11 shoes so 
the little like ankle socks for women. I can't make work because my feet are too big, but these will work super well. They're nice and cozy. They are buffalo check. They also had a blue and white buffalo check. And then I also grabbed two guys pairs of socks for when I wear my boots. So the men's socks fit me better and especially with boots. So it goes up my legs. So I got these little chevron ones that are black. And then I also got these because I thought they were so fun. It's like a saw and a screwdriver and a wrench and just, I don't know, it made me think of DIY and Christmas because they're red. The Juncture brand also came out with some of these like head wraps for winter. I haven't tried it on my head. I have a large head, so let's see. Let's find the seam. So my hair's popping out. Not too bad, not too bad. Don't mind my hair, but for somebody who is part of the large head club, it fits. It actually looks pretty cute with the curly hair. I think these are a win for a dollar. Like it's really nicely knit. So I grabbed black and I grabbed gray. So win up. And now that I've got hat hair, we'll just keep continuing with the hats. I thought these were super cute and I'm gonna try to figure out a way that I can like DIY them to make them more like holiday Christmas. See, if you got your hair out, like, I think it looks cute. It's got a little pom-pom. It doesn't look too like tight on my head because like I said before, huge head. I would definitely wear this. I think this looks good. We'll just, we'll just do a try on session here. But yeah, so cute. I'm thinking I might put something here, maybe up here. Not totally sure yet, but I was like, I could probably use those as a blank. If you don't want to spend a ton of money on those like CC hats or whatever they call them, like this is definitely an option. It is cute and only a dollar. Okay, so we're gonna end it with the most random thing. I bought at Dollar Tree and <laughs> they're these glow sticks. So shout out to my sister-in-law, Caitlin. She recently did what they've been calling online as a boo bath and it's for Halloween. So I bought these for Finn. You turn the lights down in the bathroom. You can crack these and kind of throw them in the water. Um, and it's kind of just like a fun thing. Finn loves the bath. So I figured these would be fun the week of Halloween to do something like fun and festive. Um, and I bought, I probably don't need this much just for him, but I figured if he liked it, we could do it twice. For five bucks, Really fun kid experience. Thanks so much for sticking with me through this whole haul. Let me know your favorite item down below as well as letting me know what you are on the hunt for or the favorite thing that you have found so far for Christmas. I love hearing from you guys because then I know what I should be on the lookout for. It also helps me know what items I should try to DIY with. So I appreciate all of your comments. I read all of them. So thank you so much for the time that you take to leave them. If you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a future Whiskey and What video and I will link some more Christmas content for you on the screen so you can keep the Christmas train going. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.